you can look at a sneaker. It came out of in a pack. This is made by a designer. I think he's out of the Chicago area. This is not his first time coming up with a collab with this brand. I do have a pair from a previous collab he had with the same brand. And without all the extra talking, we're going to get right into it. Here's the box. Says made. Basically, you got the American flag. It's pattern after that. So basically, it's saying that this is American made. And you can read side of the box. It says made in the U.S. for over 75 years. And it says Joe Fresh Goods. That's the young man that I was speaking of. Joe Fresh Goods. And here is the box. You can see it says New Balance, American Made, Joe Fresh Goods, New Balance, and that is the box label. And I'm going to read it to you. It says uh, Classic Traditionals, size 14 men, newbalance.com. It has a product code or style code of Mike Romeo, Niner Niner, Tree Juliet, Hotel One. And I'm going to take the lift off top and here we go see it's performance art Joe Fresh Goods nice sturdy box and we're gonna take a look at that paper we have a special paper inside it says NB the New Balance logo but it says Joe Fresh Goods and also has America made or made in America that is the paper in here and we also have a couple other items you know we got that sticker went to Uncle Billy go to game for the assist we're gonna send a shout out to him and the authentication card and that's all the goodies we have inside the box these came out in like a teal colorway and like a greenish colorway but this is the box, America made Joe Fresh Goods 993. Let's get into the sneaker. Here we go, guys. We have the Joe Fresh Goods 993 and the uh, pink colorway. Uh, this is a different sneaker. I know New Balance doesn't get a lot of hype, but this guy, Joe Fresh Goods, and uh, what's the other guy? Salehi Bembry. These guys are doing lots of great collabs with New Balance and it's kind of got New Balance to forefront of the conversation of well put together and quality sneakers that's been coming out the last couple of years. But getting into this silhouette, the 993, you can see there's a few tones of pink on the shoe. We have pink suede on the overlays, the lace eyelets and the mud guard and going around the heel. And there's a different paint right here. It's like a soft new buck. It's not leather. You have your New Balance logo that ends this storm. May be reflective, not sure. Gonna have to check that out. And you got that mesh like material right here on the toe box and great. And the paint suede on here is it's okay. You can see a little brush back motion. Not much. And you do have the 993 emblem right here on the rear heel, the rear ankle area. This is letting you know what model this is. Looking at the midsole, we got a few different colors on your midsole. We got a peachy light color right here. You also have a darker pink. And you have that same peachy color right here. And there is something broader right there. And it says DTS. Basically, this is talking about the technology that is inside of this sneaker. And it's probably encapsulated so you cannot see it directly. And you have a little hit of a different pink on the very bottom. Which leads to the outsole. This is the outsole. You got a darker pink. You got new balance right here in the middle. And you do have something right there. It says endurance. So basically, this sneaker give you a little endurance. It's probably a running sneaker, but I got them for fashion. So I will not be jogging in my local park or gym with these on. All right, looking at the heel of the sneaker, you can see that Joe Fresh Good got his branding stamped right on here. And I believe 
it's supposed to be a flag right here because I see some stars and a couple of the stripes. So if we do know the stars and stripes, it's on the US American flag. And you got a nice smooth like a leather material up here to the top. It looks like a lighter pink, maybe even peach, but it's nice. It's up here and we're gonna get to the medial side of the sneaker, pretty much just like the uh, lateral side with a couple of differences. Uh, it's solid right here as far as the, uh, the paint on your midsole and you have the little peach going on right here. You don't have that little clear piece we got going around the heel and that says New Balance if you can see that real closely. And you also have that pink suede, that soft pink going on your overlays, your ILS, and going around your mudguard. New Balance logo right here. And you do have your gray mesh material right there. And I want to say this is breathable mesh. Uh, you also have the pink right here. It's like almost a leather type material on here and here. And we're going to make it all around. Well, before we do that, you can see he has his branding on here. Joe Fresh Goods, New Balance collab, and his performance art made to wear well. So you can wear these sneakers pretty good. And I'm going to assume, I'm pretty much thinking that these are very durable due to the quality materials that was that this sneaker consists of. And you got that New Balance tag right there. And we have a message right here. Uh, pause the video if you want to read it, but I'll read it for you. It says New Balance made contains a domestic value of 70% or more made. Makes up a limited portion of New Balance US sales. And that is the message from New Balance. Give you a close up on that toe box. You got that gray looking mesh material right here and going up your uh your tongue as well starts about right there you got these peach looking color laces that you come factory lace with also have additional laces right here the pink focus okay and we go to pink uh i think i'll probably go with these i like how these look better than what's in there and between here i noticed something earlier there we go we have the 993 branding right here kind of similar to what's on the back heel that say joe fresh goods and this is stars and a couple of the stripes here as well it says 993 which is the model that this is on and it says new balance made in usa and turn around try to look at the uh back of the tongue you can see you got a light pink on the back of the tongue same as the sock liner and we got a tag in here give y'all a good look at that tag and let's see what it says we got a size 14 uh you got new balance branding and there's a uh, qr code probably gonna try to scan it to see what it says and let's check the console. Oh, hell no. Uncle Billy Goat, you let me down. You say these shoes are new. Look at all this hair in here. Man, it's some BS, man. These shouldn't have this. Look at all this hair. Oh, yeah, definitely got to uh, check that. Oh my gosh, this is freaking disgusting. Make me look at the other sneaker. Oh yeah, these are definitely not new goat. Y'all down bad for that. I'm about to end this video right now because this is some BS. Yes guys, sorry about that, but that really pissed me off. I checked the sneakers, well I just did a once over and it didn't strike me that the sneakers not supposed to come laced up. These sneakers was laced all the way up and then when I took the inserts out, y'all saw how nasty and disgusting it was. 
And when I saw the outsole, when I first looked at the shoe, I'm like, dang, it looks like there's a little dirt on here. But I was like, maybe somebody tried it on at the store and they didn't clean it off well. But then I began to thinking after I cut out from the last video, this is a collab. This didn't make it to the store for someone to try it on. So, go, y'all mess me over on this pair. But I got to give credit where credit due. Y'all did give me a full refund once I uh, submitted those photos. And I hope y'all don't sell those sneakers to nobody as new. Y'all need to clean them sneakers and sell it as used or send them back to whoever sold them to me through you guys because that was ridiculous. And I had to reach out to eBay because I really had the sneak, really wanted to have the sneakers. By the time I got the sneakers back to go and got the credit, the price had went up $100 or more. And I was like, I'm not paying that for these. So I went on the eBay app, and eBay gives you the room to negotiate directly with the buyer, I'm sorry, with the seller. And I was able to get these for cheaper than I originally paid on GOAT. So, we got these in from uh, eBay. We got the American made box. And y'all remember that box label size 14. Everything's authentic. And look, they didn't come fully laced. I got my extra laces. Actually, Tisha, cause if I recall right, I didn't even have Tisha here. No. Take out the insert. Look how clean that is. This how it's supposed to be. Shout out to eBay. Cause eBay y'all came in a clutch. Man, y'all came in a clutch. Cause I really wanted this sneaker. This sneaker is nice. And you got your eBay stamp on here because I selected the one where it goes to eBay for authentication, aka sneaker kind in New York City. Yup. Tisha in this one as well. Man, man, look how clean that is. Y'all was giving y'all self a bad name, but I mean, I ain't gonna stop messing with y'all, but I just know I got to check the shoe ASAP. Soon as I get the shoe in from go, I got to check it because I'm not trying to get dead like this. This is the second time I've got dead like this with a sneaker. First time it was StockX with the uh, Court Purple SBs from the uh, JPEG, and now this sneaker from GOAT. I'm like, man, well, this is a nice sneaker, guys. The Joe Fresh Good 993 Powder Pink Colorway. This is going to be at the top of my list for the countdown, my top 15 sneakers of this year. And don't be surprised if. That I'm on Monero 4 is not in my top two. <laughs> Shout out to D God Juice. I mean Dead Stock D. That's my dog. <laughs> I have <laughs> I have fun picking with him. I was just texting him earlier. Yeah. But this is the powder paint 993 New Balance Joe Fresh Goods. And yeah, speaking of eBay, where is it? Uh I've been buying sneakers from eBay for a while now. And uh, eBay has this program called a Top Star, and I was actually selected. It says, Welcome to eBay Top Star, and they sent me this little plaque and everything in the silhouette of the Jordan 1 outsole. So I am happy to be a part of the eBay Top Star program. Since I've been a part of the uh, program, they have had sneakers a couple of times, one I had access to, but I reached out to their customer service. Yeah, I might have to call somebody this time, because yeah, I was able to cart the sneaker, but I wasn't able to check out. So yeah, I gotta get some info on this top star program, if anyone else in the comments or anybody viewing is watching that is part of the top star program as well please shared some insight on it to me and uh take it up it says basically congratulations and welcome to the program earning the spot now once 
I get this spot now that I have it I have to do certain things to maintain it so it's just like the Chick-fil-A uh, program with the app yeah I do eat a lot of Chick-fil-A while my family does anyway I'm always getting one stuff in there because I'm the one that have to go get it but I got the top on the uh, Chick-fil-A app as well but yeah once you get to this level you have to maintain so I would have to buy a certain amount of sneakers or spend a certain dollar amount in I guess a calendar year to keep my status so the eBay Top Star program is a good program Shout out to Bilal Javit. I uh, uh, saw he had it. I inquired about it through him and then I applied it. I had no idea this was coming until I had tracking popped up coming from somewhere and I was like, I didn't order anything. And this is what it was from eBay. So I've been sitting on this for like a month and a half, two months now. I decided to show it to you guys. Let me know y'all thoughts of the eBay's Top Star program. And shout out to them for uh, taking care of me since I had that debacle with this sneaker on the uh, GOAT app. So, this is the sneaker, the Joe Fresh Goods New Balance 993. There it is, guys. This is how it's supposed to look. And I'm going to end the video off. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.